welcome back guys, another video and today I'm gonna play a whole different game than I'm normally playing. Uh, which is the Settlers, this is the beta of the Settlers and um, yeah I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to play the game. Um, because it's a, it's a closed beta, I've played the previous games before, um, I just play them like it's not that I play it that much, it's just sometimes I like to play a match of the Settlers. Um, in the beta we're only able to play against, um, but we were, I think we were able to play against uh, other PvP players. Um, but I wanted to know the mechanics of the game, so I played against the computer uh, AI. And I will give you a glimpse of... Uh, how the game will be look like um, for me there was just one world to play and I think um, they're going to expand the game furthermore uh, when it's released um, more mechanics more islands that you are able to play on um, you can also play two versus two you can play four versus four um, not all the matches were available for the closed beta uh, we were able to play two versus two so i've played it also uh, you can see it at the end of the video um, but for now i'm gonna show you how i played um, on my own versus ai uh, as you can see down below in the middle there's a uh, camp um, it's just a camp that we have to destroy and pick over um, what i kind of missed is that you get a, a really good reward from it um, you get some little bit of money or you get a little bit of goods but nothing special um, what I do like is like over here you have to defend your place um, also AI are really um, like focused on getting to your camp as fast as they can uh, they want to destroy houses buildings as fast as they can so you from from the first point you have to expand your uh, your land um, and then make a good defense against those people um, and then next to it remember you have to create the uh, the, the armies uh, to defend yourself and those things are pretty hard um, because you need special goods for them. You have to find mining spots, things like that. So you have to explore the map as fast as you can. I do like that. Um, but um, I, f I think it's a little bit complicated because they're only on this island that I've been playing on against the AI. I think there are only f like five mining spots and I think that's way too less. I think you should be able to get um, your stuff that you need. It, sh it should be there for you like it makes you it makes it so hard for you um, to create armies if you don't have the supplies for it and sometimes you have the luck that you can instantly make an army and sometimes you have the luck that you don't get the chance and you have to travel a long way to find another mine um, before you get those resources and traveling uh, and expanding your map takes way too long at a time. Um, what I also missed is that next to mining spots, it will be nice if you got locations where you can just um, gather some lost rocks, just some, some simple rocks and those will give you the resources. So you don't need only the mining location, but you can also send a group of militaries like soldiers and get just a simple few of those resources um i missed that in the game um for me the game felt like it isn't finished yet and i know it's a closed beta but the game will release in one month and um i i i, I have the feeling the game isn't ready to release yet that's really my feeling the, the game is been expanding already over years uh, they announced it a couple years ago already and it takes them so long to create this game um, i think they 
could have done a better job. Um, the graphics do look good and I know they will um, make more details with uh, different areas like different worlds, bigger maps because you can also play 4 versus 4 so the maps have to be way bigger um, but I, I feel like they're missing some some yeah some f ways to build or some ways to play together with someone um, I can build yeah I, I think they missed some some things they should have spent more time into that um, still a good game um, I think it's more like for uh, younger people uh, for older people I think you will after two matches or three matches uh, you will be done with the game because like it's not continuing with giving your um, new challenges or new ways to play it it's just keeps the, the same way how you play the game and that's what I kind of missed I played two matches in total uh, the first one that's not this one uh, well actually I played three then um, I started with a wrong start um, didn't go too well and then I changed uh, to this one to make a better start and um, also I played the 2 versus 2 didn't go that well um, it was also really late in the evening for me so I quit the game um, you so you will get a, only a little glimpse of how the game will look like um, also uh, there are coming mechanics of how you look, the, the, the people will look, how the buildings will look. Um, so every person has his own way of buildings, houses, uh, docking stations, uh, towers. Uh, his army will look different, people will look different. And also what you see right now with those houses you can connect them and they, it gives like graphics and the way how they made the game it looks fantastic they've done a great job in that in, in that way but i still miss some some things it's just i think they should spend uh, way more time in the game i'm not sure how the price will be for the game but I think, um, I'm not sure how, how big the, the group of people that will play it will be. I think it will keep very small and I'm not sure if people will still play the game over a year. Uh, maybe they will play one match and then they're done again. Uh, I think that's, that's the kind of way how the game will look. Um, which is unfortunate because they could make it way bigger than it is right now um, but hopefully they will keep expanding the game um, also those mechanics that you see right now um, yeah like if you fight against AI the, the computer is really good mate it's like you s they keep focusing on expanding they keep focusing on um, building the military uh, they do it way faster than you do, or at least I did. Um, probably if I do another two matches and I know all the mechanics and I know where to find the resources, I will do it pretty fast again, uh, like the AI. But for me, I, I really struggled. As you can see, I only have two soldiers, which can be seen in the top screen. And um, yeah, the enemies have a way bigger groups. If they went into my... Into my camp, which they are doing right now. I think they could have done so much better than 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 I did. Like they could have destroyed my camp, definitely. They didn't made it. I think if they just skipped my towers and went in, they won. But yeah, that's how AI works. And if you are player versus player, I think I was. Have been, I've been fucked. 
Also, um, I played the beta and I tried to find a match, player versus player. And it took me like, I think, 10 minutes to find a match and then I quit searching for a match. Because 10 minutes to find a match versus another player is way too long. And I think the, the, the group that, um, that plays the game is it's just not big enough. I, I think they should have made it an open beta to give a better view what the servers are able of and what, um, what the loading times will be. Uh, I, I know that there will be more people later, but uh, still. Um, I finally made a, a big group, as you can see. Group of, what is it, 23 or maybe 12? I'm not sure. I think this is 23. And um, yeah, you can zoom in and see all the mechanics of how they fight. My videos are speed up right now, so it goes really fast now. Um, it's been speed up twice. Uh, but normally uh, it, w it won't look like this and it looks fantastic and as you can see I get some rewards which is some money like money can be used to get some resources you can trade with other people uh, really fun um, but then still I think because you, it takes a lot of effort to destroy those camps it should reward more uh, than it does right now and also the way of um, what you can see right here with food um, it doesn't work the way um, I was thinking about like normally you say you have like 100 people in total in your camp which makes it you need this amount of food to keep everyone alive and if you don't have the food people will struggle people will die things like that but that's not in the game, that's not in the case. Food is made in the game to create uh, a faster progress in houses. So you need fish to make your... Um, what would it be? Um, I don't know, like this fish can be used to create faster mat uh, weapon materials, for example. So you can create faster swords or things like that. And I think that's that's not really the way of how they should have made it. Um, I think they have could have done a better job in that. Um, but then still, it's still a good game. And I'm definitely going to play the game as soon as it comes out. Not sure if I will still record gameplay videos of it. If you want so, uh, let me know in the comments. But uh, I think I'm just going to play some couple matches. Um, as soon as it launches uh, just a couple matches maybe i will record a four versus four player versus player uh, video um, depends on how much people are watching the videos for the settlers um, but yeah for right now i don't have the feeling that i won't play this game that much so i will start recording every time a new video of it i like to play the beta once I, I like that I've, I've actually won this battle uh, I've won or victoried uh, the game uh, which can be seen in a couple minutes it um, but yeah it's, it's just not a game that I will play daily or weekly or monthly uh, I will play it like once a half year or a year and then I'm done probably uh, also a thing of the game is like uh, a match can take some serious time and um, it's not a game that uh, when you think like oh I want to play uh, the settlers for an hour it's not able to um, I, I had the same I thought I will play a match against AI I will do uh, a record of like an hour or an hour and a half and then um, resume the game uh, a day after so uh, because i had some school that day um, so i will play the other day to finish my match and i was not able to save my matches um, not sure if that will 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 be the same as soon as the game launches i hope so not i really hope that you can save your game 
but in the beta that, that was not the case and I was playing against AI and I think it should be able to you should be able to to save your game so you can continue the game later um, also um, you can only say I want to play one versus one two versus two four versus four um, and what I like is that you get into a giant map that's like four times bigger than this one and you have to face three enemies except for one or four enemies or five enemies or six enemies um, which all have different mechanics which all have different weapons things like that um, that was more what I was hoping for and I I really hope that they will bring that into the game um, I don't know that much about if they will make that I really don't know um, yeah, I had some trouble here, I think. Not sure why. Um, I think resources is the thing. Yeah, I don't have wood, that's it. Um, but I think they should make maps way bigger and more enemies. Um, give you the option how you want to play it and not like give you only one option if it's AI or PvP. Um, so yeah, I kind of missed it. Um, yeah, the match goes pretty fast now. Um, give you two more scenes to see some fights and then we already got the victory. Um, so make a base camp is really important. Do it as fast as you can. Make sure you get the mining spots as fast as you can. Defense them with the, some towers as you can see over here right now. Um, make sure you get that food progress. Make sure you get enough wood and enough rocks. Uh, as you can see on my top right, um, I don't have enough wood and that was my problem the whole time. Uh, also make sure you keep building houses where people will live in. Um, that was my problem with the 2 versus 2 matches, uh, or match, only one. Uh, I had way too less people and I was not able to expand because I had no one uh, that can work like in a, a woodcutter or things like that um, make sure you keep um, on the top you can see how many like the sleeping people make sure you always keep like enough uh, like five of them and if you see it's becoming below 10 make sure you start building new houses otherwise you will have a problem and it's, it's not you're not able to fix that fast um, also right, right here what you see right now I was trying to make sure my group was going back and returning from the fight and it was just not listening, they kept fighting. They were not returning to the location that I want and I I think that that mechanic should, should be better. Um, like they, they really focus on what I want and not on... Um, on what they want themselves like they they are thinking themselves like i want to do this or i want to do that no you really have to to listen what the player wants and yeah i missed that in the game um as soon as an army is fighting against a tower or against an enemy they won't stop they won't stop until one of them is dead and i missed that uh also Creating those healers, it's taking so much money, and they don't help that much. Only if you go for one tower or just a small, small camp. So right here, I'm going to attack from the right side of the map, uh, the left side of the map, and the center of the map. So I will group. Uh, I will I will fight from three different locations against the enemy, um, which made me able to to complete or win this match. Um, as you can see, I'm destroying towers on the right side of the map. In the meantime, I have a small group in the middle of the map, uh, which is regrouping or waiting um, to help with the attack. And I got a small group on the left side. Um, what I also have to say is that what I miss is um, 
you see like those those big animals with that blue light on them those are the only ones that are able to destroy a tower just normal enemies are not able to destroy those towers um, i think they should change that because now you need those enemies um, if you want destroy a part of their town um, normal enemies are not able to they will die instantly i i think that's not the way they should have um, created the game or that you really need those animals uh, i think there should be a way that you can upgrade your enemies where they will get other weapons or so they get able to do the same amount of damage or different way of damage um, so yeah they i think they should focus more on uh, upgrading enemies um, also what i missed is upgrading houses towers um, buildings um, i liked it always in the game when you can upgrade a house so you go from five uh, inhibitors to uh, like 10 or something uh, the house gets like twice as big um, those kind of things are things that i miss in the game um, yeah as you can see that i was playing against the bot i victoried um, the game took me in total like about two hours which is i think or two and a half hours i think that's too long for a one versus one match where you are not able to um save the game um if you play player versus player i understand it takes that long but against ai they really should give you the option to save um as you can see now we play uh two versus two i play with another online player so it's not completely ai um so my friend the one in blue is another player and we play against ai because of course we were not able to find um some other online players i was lucky that i found this guy after like five minutes or something searching i finally found a match i played for an hour or so uh, then quit because it became too late and i didn't get any progress um, also they should Ready give you more information what happens if you leave a match will your will the other player also leave the match will the other player able to continue and will he get um, my uh, part of the army um, I'm I don't know I really don't know I haven't seen of anything of that yet um, but they should give you more information or um, the option that you go for fight together so uh, for it so you just end the game by making the decision together you want to quit or things like that it's not in the game which i missed so again the game is not really finished in the way i want it um then still it's a good game um for the two versus two i i had some struggles didn't start as well um i had some trouble with with people resources uh, which was especially wood and um yeah i i made a bad start it's also fun um what what a well fun you can watch each other's like the progress how you're building and things like that that's fun to see um but what i was missing is an option that you're able to chat with each other um just press enter send a little text like hey man you should do this or man you should do that um those are things that i was really missing in the game also um give some warnings to each other um s uh, click on the map like hey man you should look at this location or man you should uh, go to that location get that mining spot or do this or do that um yeah i i, I was missing those kind of things um which i think they really need to add in the game those are the things that will keep the game running uh, and people returning uh, if they not if if they won't make that in the game then i think a lot of people will stop playing it because the game just doesn't feel finished and that's not what you want for the game where so much time is spent in um 
So yeah, I think that's that's it, my journey of the game. Um, also, the previous recording of the game with the victory, I will upload it on YouTube. You can see the whole video of it. Um, it can be seen from start to end. Um, on how I did it, you can see some things on or some strategies or uh, why do you need some buildings? I I think I made all the buildings. I made, made the resources, things like that, dugin stations. Um, so if you want to know more of that, check that video. For now, that's it for the video. Hope you liked it. Leave a like, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time in the next video. And if you want to see more of the set, let me know in the comments. I'm out.